Welsh Water have been at work today giving an identity back to a village that was flooded more than 30 years ago to form a reservoir. The inhabitants of Capel Killen near Bala had to give up their homes, their chapel, their school and their shop and the name of Truerin and its water supply to Liverpool became a symbol of protest that's still heartfelt by some today. But the summer's drought has revealed the old village again and turned it into a visitor attraction. In 1961, despite massive popular opposition, this dam wall is under construction. And there's nothing that anyone in Wales can do to stop it. The bill to dam the Trewerin River to provide water for Liverpool has been up before Parliament. It means drowning the village of Capel Kelly. When the vote is called, one of the 36 Welsh MPs abstains. The other 35 all vote against it. The bill is passed just the same. Llyn Kellen Llan Kelwyd. Kellen Lake full of lies. Lies that our MPs votes matter, that our voices matter. Lies that Liverpool did water and not to sell it forward. Lies that the water was ever even used, but also a reflection of reality, the reality that Wales has never mattered to Westminster, the reality that our borders were debatable during a pandemic because some people missed the beach, the reality that protest after protest could not save this town, its graveyard, or the miners, or the children of Aberban. The reality that people were spat upon when they asked to keep their ancestral homes, to still be allowed to visit their parents' and grandparents' graves. The reality we have known since our children were punished in school for speaking their own language. Our language. English out, not to the common folk who live and let live, but to those who see Wales as merely an extension, and not those who are here first. The literal Britons that our country was named for to those that keep all the money from all the water and energy that we provide and don't see a penny of. Hyn Kellen Hyan Kelwith, Kellen Lake full of lies. But also, Kapal Kellen will live in our memories and our hearts. And with your help, Kapal Kellen will live again. Is it any surprise that this becomes the most famous piece of graffiti in the story of Wales? Kovyuch Truerin. Remember Truerin? Well, Truerin is remembered because it kickstarts the two big engines of change in Welsh life for the rest of the 20th century. <laughs> 